something for me to watch at home. <laughs> I mean, millions of YouTube hits coming up. <laughs> Alright, so I'll do the arteries. Okay. Uh, it's probably going to take longer than four minutes of whatever you can video, so hopefully you got I can take room. up to 30 minutes, okay, so you're As long good. as your cards are. Alright, so coming up here and bending over. I'm going to draw it super big. Okay, so right here, ascending aorta, aortic arch, and then this is not anatomically correct at all, but this would then come down, kind of go like that, okay? In reality, this is the descending thoracic, this would go down like right behind the heart, okay? I'm just drawing it enough so you can see it. First branch, brachiocephalic, okay? This comes up, it's very short, one then goes up this way, Another one comes out this way. Right subclavian, right common carotid. This would eventually come up and it will branch like that. One goes to the inside of the head, internal carotid, right external carotid. And then you get up here in the head, it's just I've ran out of room. This would eventually branch right superficial temporal. Okay. So if we come back down here to the right subclavian, comes out here, I, I will go through this. And this is not gonna be to scale at all. I'm really good on this. Okay. <laughs> so roughly a rib cage. That's your diaphragm. Okay. So when this gets eventually, so right here, from about here to here, it's going to be a right subclavian. It's not the scale at all. Out here, since we're outside the rib cage and we're in the armpit area, that's the right axillary. Oh, auxiliary. that's an arm. Yeah, it's an arm. <laughs> yeah. It'll make sense. <laughs> so down here, there's definitely a bunch of branches in here I'm leaving off. This is going to be your right brachial. Split in here, correct anatomical position. This would be your radial ulnar. Then you've got your common ulnar digital ones down here. Okay, there's arches right there. There's the arch. You guys learn that. They radiate off each hand. There's a thumb in there too. I just left it off. Um, come back all the way back up. We get the second and third branch off the aortic arch. This one comes up. It does the exact same thing, except now we're just on the left side. Okay, so you've got left common carotid, left internal carotid, left external carotid, left superficial temporal. Right here, this one comes over, does the exact same thing as that, because we're now on the left arm instead of the right arm. So this would be left subclavian, left axillary, left brachial, et cetera, et cetera, all the way down. I'm just going to leave those off, because Shayla made fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so this is definitely way too big. But you get here, and this one just continues. And so regional break, descending thoracic, descending abdominal. Okay? So this one comes down, and it forks and Ys down here. It's going to not be to scale. This person's going to have super small legs. <laughs> um, so this is where it gets kind of messy, and this is where people get really confused. So the first anterior branch off the abdominal aorta, that's going to be your celiac trunk. The next anterior branch, superior mesenteric. Next branch down here, inferior mesenteric. This one's above that one, hence superior, hence inferior. Okay, this is going to probably be really messy, um, but this will then almost immediately branch. It'll come over here, your spleen, that's your splenic artery. This one will go over here. It'll branch into your common hepatic, and then that branches into a big system. And then one comes up here, it sort of branches into the stomach area. That's the gastric. This one is going to come down here and it's going to go to the right side of the colon. That's going to be your superior mesenteric. This one kind of goes your small intestines and colon, that's inferior mesenteric. So when you get to the fork, this is when it becomes the iliacs. It's on. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to run out of time. All right, so I'll speed it up. So right here, you've got common left and right iliacs. This one will then branch 
here and continue out this way. This one will branch in this way and come out that way. So you've got internal iliacs, external iliacs. When you hit the body wall, super long trunk on this guy, but body wall, this then becomes a femorals. Okay, it's a regional break. So the external iliacs regionally get named then the uh, femorals. This will then come down and it'll branch. You get your knees and all that. I just don't have enough room. Anterior tibial, posterior tibial, all that kind of stuff. There's a lot of branches in there I can't draw. That's how you do this. When you go back and do the veins, 99% of them are pretty much going to be exactly the same. The only difference is these are going to be jugulars, not carotids. Um, down here you have a great saphenous, which you don't have a saphenous artery. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, you don't have a great saphenous artery. And then I think that's about it. Oh, hepatic portal vein instead of the common hepatic artery. So over here in the liver, you're going to have a different named structure. But everything else is pretty much the same. Uh, mistakes I see that students do, they call these jugular arteries, or they call them uh, uh, carotid veins. Those don't exist. Okay, so don't get those screwed up. Um, and then sometimes students forget to study those first couple branches on the heart model. So I'll put the heart model out there, and then all of a sudden they're like, what the heck are these branches? Okay, so as long as you guys kind of can draw this thing in a lot better detail than I can do, it's a really easy way to study.